So we all love biscuits and gravy and it's a staple. And uh, I've ate it my whole life and just love it to death. I like it for breakfast, I like it for dinner, I like it just about any time. But you know, a lot of times you just don't have the time to scratch make some biscuits and thaw out a pound of you know country sausage and get it all thawed out and, and make the gravy and all that. But you still got the craving. So what I do is I got a quick little way that I like to do it, and I actually use white bread and uh, some frozen sausage patties. It's always good to keep some of them in the freezer. I do a lot because I like to cook them on the griddle, something nice and fast for breakfast. But you can take them frozen sausage patties and make you a real quick and simple sausage gravy. And today we're going to do that, and I'm going to put a little twist in there too with a little different flavor that I think if you try it, you're gonna like it. So pull up a chair and set a spell, and we're gonna make this here real quick sausage gravy. Now what I like to do making this quick sausage gravy is get my old pan on, on the stove, let it warm up a touch. Now we don't want this pan super hot. If you have it super hot and you put these frozen sausage patties in there, they're gonna get a hard crust on them, makes it harder to break apart. Good for eating, but it makes it harder to break apart. So I want a good bit of meat in mine today, so we're gonna put three of them in there. I'm gonna get me a little bit of oil skied in there because we're gonna need a little bit more fat than what that will provide to make our gravy. Should have done this beforehand, but it is what it is. Trying to film this stuff, you know, is uh, kind of new to it, so. Now the trick on this, like I said, is you don't want to get your pan super hot because you don't need them to cook fast. You don't want them to get that nice brown caramelization on them before you break them up. So all we're doing here is we're just thawing them out real quick. Now, it's not going to take long at all to do this. It's a nice thing about it. You can, you can still get that sausage gravy and do it real quick. Now depending on the quality uh, sausage patties that you buy, you know, you may want to do more seasoning and keep your little sage, black pepper, throw all that in there. But like I said, we're going to do a little twist today with a little different flavor profile. Let's let them warm up just a bit. And now those are warming up a bit, they're thawing out, and we can start breaking them up. See, if we was doing this old standard way, we'd pull out a, a round of ground sausage and we'd have to throw it in some hot water, thaw it out or whatnot. And we'd have to cook a whole bunch. This right here just works real good for making you what I call personal size. I said I was going to throw in here. 
is I like to come in with a little bit of this Mexican chicken base. It's uh, the Norris with tomato. And that, that just adds a, just a nice little additional flavor I find. You don't need a whole bunch. About time me to buy a new one because this one, this one's uh, getting caked up inside a little bit. So there we go. We're going to throw that in there. Now I like to do it right after my flour is cooked and then just kind of cook it into that just a little bit. Now, if you don't want that in there, you don't have to add that. That's just something I found that I really like. So, we got milk today, so we're going to do this standard old milk grubbing. There is an option that I do with some stock and some cream, but maybe we'll do that on another video. Now, this is where I do things different. I'm going to turn the fire up a grunt, and you see I didn't add a whole lot of milk in there. If we were making a great big batch for a restaurant, it'd be different. What I find is if you throw all that milk in there all the way, it takes forever for it to come up to, to simmer again. And we're trying to do this fast, so I think it's faster to technically go a little slower. See how that's already, already thickening up. I'm going to add a bit more. I do this in about three to four little steps, and I just find it works real good. Now, you will never know how thick your gravy is or your sauce or whatever you do until you get it up to a simmer. And then some fancy chemical reactions happen, and it, it gets her thickened up. So as you see, that last little bit of milk I put in there, it's taking it just a spell to come back up to heat. That gives you an example of why I like to use the smaller amounts. Now to add just a little bit more flavor to this, being I'm not putting a bunch of sage and other stuff like that in it, which I like. It's just, I like this with this tomato flavor in it, and I like it just a little bit more spicy, but not the standard, you know, sage country sausage spice. I know I found this Dano's spicy seasoning, and it adds just a nice little old touch. So let's just put us a grunt of that in there. There we go. Not much. So she's starting to come up. She's simmering on the edges now. Let's get that old Dano's mixed up in there. Now, she's coming up, and I actually put just a grunt too much milk in there. But you know, this is an example. You just work with it. It's not a crazy amount. We'll let her simmer for a couple minutes, and she'll just natural reduction will take place. It'll tighten up a little bit. Need a grunt of salt and pepper in there, and we'll be just right on point for our seasonings. You do whatever seasons you want to do. This just kind of gives you an idea. Yeah. Now, like I said, I'm doing this with white bread today. Makes it quick, simple. And actually, if you use that white bread, it just give it a whole different flavor. So I went ahead and turned the heat back down. Look at that right 
right there. We'll let that fire love on that just for another minute or two and we'll be ready. Look at that. That is ready. Let's turn off the fire. So we're a total of less than 14 minutes into this deal right here, and that's what we're trying to film. So, see what I mean? That makes it nice and quick. Now I've got my old standard white bread. Three pieces. Of course, you don't need to eat three pieces. But uh, I find it does me pretty good. Let's take a look at this right here. Now, I reckon this probably be enough for two people normally, but I'm not the littlest of fellers, so. And I'm doing this, and this right here, I'll be honest with you, I won't even eat a lunch today. I'm gonna be working out here at the place. I won't need one. So there you go. Let's grab y'all and take a gander at that. So as you see, we got that right there. We got a bunch of shadows too. So hopefully that right there will give y'all a different way to do you up some quick uh, sausage gravy. Do it with some bread. Enjoy it. That'll stick to your bones, run you a good bit of the day. Quick to make, 15 minutes or less, and you got a meal. Y'all enjoy. I'm going to.